Are you ever messing around with your 3D printer and thinking to yourself, there's got to be a better way? Well, today we're going to be looking at some 3D printing accessories that will make your life a lot easier and save you quite a bit of time. Now, before we get started, I just want to stress that these are accessories. They aren't the things that you need, like PPE, like your respirator, your gloves, and things like that, where these are just stuff that will help you and make your life a bit easier. So let's get into them. This is in no particular order, but number one is a squirt bottle. Now you might be thinking like, why, why do I want a squirt bottle? And it just makes things easier for cleaning. You can fill it with water, but what I would suggest is filling it with IPA. Now this is great because if you spill resin somewhere, you don't need to lug around your big IPA bottle or container. You can fill this up and reuse it and you can just do, give it a quick spritz and then wipe and things like that. Number two is a magnetic flex plate. Now I haven't actually used one of these, but I'm very tempted to get one. It's a magnetic plate that connects to your build plate and your prints print off that. And when you're done, you can can just remove it from the build plate and then flex it and that's a way to get the prints off the, the plate and you don't have to use a scraper on that because the flexing removes the prints from it. Next is a UV torch and you might be wondering why do I need a UV torch? One of the things you're supposed to do <laughs> which is something that I, I struggle with but is like any cloth any like any like gloves, anything that gets uncured resin on it, you're supposed to cure that resin before you put it in the bin. And what I usually do is just have like a tray or like little containers of just like my gloves, failed prints, supports, and I just leave them out in the sun for a couple of days. So, so I've seen someone, yeah, just rig up a LED and like with some wires to a power source and just put it inside their prints to cure the inside because they're hollow. And that, that's a great, easy, cheap way to cure the inside of your prints. Next. Silicon mats. Silicon mats are great because they just help with mess. No, they don't create mess, they help contain the mess, so to speak. What I do is I put the silicon mat out in the sun, let it all cure, and then you can just peel the resin off. Do I have it here? This looks gross, but this is all cured, and I just have to peel it off now, like, and you just bend it, and then bang, it comes off. Another one is a plastic scraper. I think some people use these to remove the prints from the build plate, but I would not use it for that. What I would use it for is when you get resin on your screen. Some people say, like, if you accidentally cure resin right on your screen that, that you should use like metal razor blades. And just from the stuff I've seen online, like a lot of the time there's a good chance you might scratch the screen. I watched one video and which has been really helpful where they get a sponge, they put hot water on it, leave it on top of the cured resin and that kind of softens it a bit. And then they just go over with a plastic scraper. And that's what I've done. Hot water, plastic scraper, really helpful. You can buy heaps of these blades really cheap on Amazon or something like that. And I want to say if anyone has 3D printed their own plastic scraper, let me know how that went. Uh, if you have your own accessories that you found helpful, leave them in the comments below and I'd be happy to check it out. I really love hearing from you guys and learning some new things. Number six, I hope, is funnels. Funnels are just, I don't know, I want to say they're ne necessary because they just help so much in not spilling resin. Even with funnels, like I still manage to spill things, but like I cannot imagine trying to pour resin out of my vat and get it straight back into the bottle. Like it's just gonna be a complete mess. So funnels are really helpful for that. If you wanna filter your resin using a paint filter or something like that to get any other like misprint bits or chunks, or if there's any dirt or something somehow that's gotten into your vat, that is a great way to use a funnel to do that. Or if you've seen my recycling IPA video, I use funnels to strain the IPA and filter out the cured resin. Number seven is a wash and cure station. This is not necessary. You can wash and cure your 3D prints without this piece of equipment. But for me, I haven't I haven't gone another way. I bought the wash and cure station straight off when I got my first printer and I have just, I just find it super easy. Like you put all the prints in like the cage, like an air fryer, almost like you're frying chips or something, lower it into the IPA, turn it on, it spins, it gets rid of a lot of resin. And then I just lift it up and let it dry. And then I come back in a couple of hours and put it through and cure it. You're gonna be 3D printing a lot of things, I think. It is a wise investment to get because it will just save you a lot of your own time and frustration. And finally, last but not least, I feel like this is the MVP of the 3D printing accessories and that is paper towels. It's not if you spill resin, it is when you spill resin because it is gonna happen, it gets everywhere. Like these are a lifesaver for cleaning. Some people argue to not use your paper towel when you're cleaning your FEP as it's slightly abrasive and could scratch your FEP. I haven't worried about that. I just wanna throw that out there because that could play into it. And if you wanna opt for a different option, you could use what we call in Australia chucks or like these kind of, I don't know, throwaway cloths. That's all the accessories for today. If you wanna see the mistakes I made when I started 3D printing, you can click over here. And if you wanna see another hobby related video, you can click over here. Thanks for watching and happy hobbying. Happy hobbying.